Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I make scrapbooking cross videos, and also do live scrap and chats every month. I hope you enjoy my little corner of the big crafty world, and if you'd like to watch more, please subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to always know when I have a new video. If you could also give me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Alright everyone, let's start scrapping! Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another episode of Stash Bash, my monthly collab with Kelly O'Black. Now, you, if you're a watcher of Kelly's, you've probably already seen her video. Mine is going up a little bit late. So what we're working with this month is themed product because we all have to get the, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's totally themed perfectly for blah, blah, blah. And then we get kind of caught up and don't actually use it. So I'm digging into my stash. This is Meow by Echo Park. So of course, I will be scrapbooking Miss Xanthi. Um, here she is in all her regal gloriousness. And this is a page that I actually pulled together. And I actually thought of the title um, back when I put the page to get page kit together and so this alpha is actually from the meow collection kit which I purchased which is funny because I don't do that many themed layouts so I don't know what my brain was thinking when I went oh I must buy the entire collection kit I've also pulled into this layout some close to my heart cardstock in the color linen. It's a softer white, so I thought it went good with the white in this collection. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys put on fast forward. Before I do, two things first. In the description box below will be the link to Kelly's video, so if you are not a, scrub sub a subscriber of hers, please go on, hop on over and become one. <laughs> Second of all, if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. All right, everyone, let's get going. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, get my photos off to the side, get my embellishments out. Now, the first thing that I'm drawn to is this home is where the cat is. And what's really funny is in all of my other pattern papers, there isn't any of that teal color. Uh, even in the striped paper there is a little bit of it but it's only the tiny stripes so I wanted to make sure to bring that color in in some other items and I'll do that closer to the end of my layout now I have no plans here I'm just kind of winging it um, I'm trimming out pieces that I actually just really like so I really like that tone on tone yellow polka dot I really like this small stripe of multicolored plaid and when I I wanted to see what was on the other side of that blue tone on tone paper and I'm like oh I really like that plaid but it's just the proportions because I'm using a big chunk of that multicolor stripe paper I was concerned that the plaid on what was originally a 12 by 12 sheet I've obviously cut into it so far um, I thought that was going to the proportions would be the actual English word. <laughs> anyway, I thought the proportions would be fighting each other because they're very similar on a large medium scale. So I'm going to use that stripe that has a smaller proportioned plaid. It's a lot of peas there um, instead. So I've got that yellow polka dot piece kind of acting acting as a shelf for my larger photo. I did trim down one of the photos just so they wouldn't span the entire 12 by 12. And then I have the stripe of plaid, but I'm not happy with how it's sitting against the white. So I cut a chunk of the blue tone on tone pattern paper, and I know I'm going to use that to back the plaid. So I just knew it had to be bigger than the plaid. I, so I don't I hardly ever actually measure things um, unless I'm specifically trying to do something like I want to do two four by sixes on top so I know I'll cut something larger than at least eight inches so I you know two, if I have two horizontal photos um, I want to cut it at least at least bigger than eight inches so I have I can see it on either on the top and the bottom 
So I flipped my paper around only because there was a tiny mark and I must have put it there because it wasn't there when I pulled it out of the bag. Um, a, a tiny little mark on the paper uh, on the cardstock. So I just wanted to um, cover that up with the pattern paper. I didn't want that big red stripe on the end, but I managed to tape the wrong end. So that's why you saw me turn that back over and add more tape to it. Just, you know, me being not dumb, but me making a mistake, which does happen. So, um, I then go ahead and now I'm having things go lower than I had originally planned for them to be. I just liked the, how much was on, how much of the stripe was on top of the yellow versus how much of the stripe was on the bottom of the yellow. I just like, I just happen to like where that landed. Now I'm not using a T-square ruler because it's a striped paper. I could line it up on my cardstock paper and then I was able to work off of the striped paper to line everything else up. So sometimes I use a T-square ruler, sometimes I do not. Now this line is very colorful. It's filled with reds and oranges and blues and greens. And my photos are very black and very brown. So I didn't feel the need to mat the photos. I thought the photos stood out on their own without feeling I needed to mat them. So I do go ahead and get my uh, slightly larger photo glued down and then the four by four card next to it. And then the photo I that was a four by six that I just trimmed down a little bit. Uh, I added just the above. Oh, so I finally went and got, uh, I'd mentioned a couple of times I wasn't using my precision tip on my art glitter clear glue because the pin that is used to keep it from clogging up had rolled under my couch and I was just being way too lazy um, and to go and get it. And I finally went and got it. So now I can use my precision tip. Once again, I know you are all thrilled. All right, I went ahead and as I've mentioned many times before, I, if you make page kits and you use wax paper to put your stickers on, you do need to reinforce the stickers with some sort of glue. I usually use a liquid glue because usually my stickers tend to be um, on the smaller side or as in the alphas, obviously on the fiddlier side. So I've got my Regal Poser as my title. I added the cold nose, warm heart, swoopy banner over on the upper left-hand photo. I then also added that smile label sticker. Now, I really liked that because it linked the top stripes with the stripe paper. So if you ever like feel your layout is a little bit disjointed, try to have an embellishment span two different sections of it. That's always been a good rule of thumb for me. Now I've added some paw print stickers along with the enamel, enamel, I'm working with enamel dots, but I'm talking about the wood veneer flowers and camera that I added along with the acrylic piece from Color Cast Design. I am adding the freckled fawn enamel dots. <laughs> And I did that in gray, orange, and teal. That's adding in that teal I was talking about at the beginning. And I thought I needed just a little bit more. So the final, well, one of the final things I'm going to do is add some spatters using Jenny B. Blue by Shimmers. It's my favorite Shimmers product. It's super shiny and just a really great aqua teal color. And then I finally realized, hey, hey, you haven't done your journaling. So I grab a smaller label sticker from Freckled Fawn. Now, I don't have a ton of journaling to do. I just want to talk about, you know, how you always enjoy posing for photos and you are more than happy to have your photo. Uh, She's more than happy to have her photo taken. That is my layout for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to flip me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to go over and check out Kelly's video. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.